Oh, that was actually a, almost suicide. Where are the big boys? Oh, man. Hello. Wow. I was really close. Nice. Now we can't chainsaw the big guy unless I think we have three, it looks like. The chainsaw only recharges to one, but uh, you can pick up additional canisters to bring it up uh, above that. But yeah, the base recharge is only to one. I think strategically when we have an area cleared, uh, it probably makes sense for us to like chainsaw whatever's remaining at the end. So we maximize uh, ammo, health, whatever. And then we go to the next area and it'll be recharged. Wow. Oh, there's a goddamn tentacle down there. I knew you would play on Nightmare. You have balls like Atlas Stones. <laughs> uh, I figured since the last one in a, we played on Ultra Violence, I figured we would step it up a bit, you know? What could go wrong? Uh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, did I get it? That was totally a fluke. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, I see. Oh, I don't know if I can make that, but I'm going to try. Wow, that's so sick. That's so sick. Okay. You don't die when you fall off the map? Oh, I thought you did.
Damn it. I need to chain something. That's crazy. Let's go, baby. I'm loving the shotgun. Maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your heart. <laughs> Sight Tiger. Already got spider brains early? Yeah, and they are, what, 95% of our deaths <laughs> so far? They're pretty insane. You get hit a couple times and it's, uh, it's all over. But they have weak spots. Just seeing if there's anything else up here. Doesn't look like it. <sighs> yeah, the boom stick. But it's like long range too now with those, uh, with the mines that it can launch. So sick. So sick. This looks bad. Let's. of hell priests is located just above your location. <laughs> My scans indicate there okay. is a lift at the center of this facility. Let's get to it. Guys, I want to say uh I want to say thank you so much for the support, all the subs and stuff that are happening. I really appreciate it. Uh and I'll I'll call them out in a bit for sure. I really think I'm really thankful. Thank you. I love that. Yes, I love demonic chants. <laughs> Thanks, Rokin. I saw something uh, pre-release about Mick Gordon doing, uh, he was, he was getting together with a bunch of like metal band singers and doing some like chorus, demonic chanty chorus stuff. So I don't know if that's what this part is, but I want that. True purple, thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be... Oh, maybe not. Fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points on the map. Use it to find additional items. Complete optional encounters. Fast travel unlocks near the end of a mission. Access fast travel in the map tab of the dossier. Use the auto map. Uh... Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Thanks, Wamboo. Appreciate it, buddy. Hell priests, powerful practitioners of arcane magics. So this is a thing that we beheaded at the beginning, right? And there were two left. Powerful practitioners of arcane magics, the priests have warped their powers to suit their insidious purpose, harnessing the dark forces of hellish psychomancy to prepare Earth for the final blood ritual. By blood were the hell priests bound to the dark ritual which now consumed Earth, and so long as even one of them lives, the consumption of Earth would continue, allowing hell unfettered rule of the mortal world. Only by destroying the priests can the blood ritual be stopped and the Earth saved. <laughs> Thanks, Rayman. How you doing, buddy? 
Oh, man. Certainly doesn't look like a boss arena. That's That was my first thought. Oh, God. Brace yourselves. It's about to get out of control. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Surprise. Oh, wow. Expiration 12 out of 13. So we missed one thing. We'll go back. So what I'd like to do is... Um, I would like to find everything eventually. And what I'm thinking is we just kind of progress normally. And then maybe every once in a while we jump back. I don't think at the end of the game we should jump back. But um, once in a while we'll just kind of do some previous areas to find whatever we were missing. So we missed a codex entry somewhere. I don't know what any of this means. Fortress of Doom. I see a 666 on stream. Oh yeah, that's how many subs we have right now. <laughs> that's crazy. 666. That's funny. Uh, thank you guys so much. Honestly. Thank you so much. All the bits, all the all the subs. It's insane. Thank you guys. Thank you. I do not have the means to locate no one sub. Hell priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. Sentinel Prime. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. The flame belch. I saw that in the um in the keybinds. One of the things that we switched was the key belch. What is that? 667 that's read me. Thank you. Maybe every two to three missions we jump back to full clear. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Cerebral. I think it's a great... I think that's a good idea. So we don't, like, stop momentum and stuff too much. Flame Belch. Press E to set enemies on fire, and they will drop armor shards. Kill them, and they'll drop the most armor. Flame Belch demons in groups to maximize the number of shards dropped. Flame Belch gradually recharges over time. Okay. Oh, it does not last long. Like, that's it. Even if I hold it, it's just that short little... And that's it. Obtain a Sentinel Crystal? Okay, what else do we have in here? This is our man cave. Our our guy cave, I guess. 
Doom guy. <laughs> no. <sighs> Rogan, 666 bits. Thanks, man. Uh, this is a Sentinel Crystal selection screen. Use the Sentinel Crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacities. Okay, similar to the first one, right? Or the previous one, I should say. You can select an upgrade to increase your health, armor, or ammo. There are four upgrades available in each category. When selecting an upgrade, this section shows your currently upgraded capacities for health, armor, and ammo, and how the selected upgrade will increase that category. Unlocking two linked upgrades also give you a bonus. Consider the bonus upgrade when selecting your... <laughs> Doom hype M slash. Thanks, Mother Goose. M slash. <sighs> That's funny. Uh, consider the bonus upgrade when selecting your Sentinel Crystal upgrades. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. So these ones impact... So this impacts health, this impacts armor, this is ammo, this is health. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so the icons, that's pretty clear. And then when we connect these two, this is the bonus in the middle. So uh, flame belch, cooldown, napalm belch, heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire. Uh, belch armor boost, demons drop armor at a faster rate loot magnet seems pretty solid honestly uh health for blood as long as you're at max health all health pickups contribute to blood punch don't even know what that is but we're never at max health ever <laughs> uh and then armor for blood as long as you're at max armor all armor pickups contribute to blood punch interesting i want to go probably towards uh loot magnet I would say. The challenge here is I can't pick a health upgrade, so... I think I'm actually going to go ammo. How long are we into it, Cooler Man? Uh, just one level. Health, armor, and ammo upgrades are immediately applied, along with any unlocked bonus upgrades. Search the environment to locate more sentinel crystals and improve your capabilities. Thanks. Will do. Portal is activated and ready when you are. Okay. Should we do a little uh, codex view real quick here? See if there's anything in here that we haven't really paid attention to. These we just saw. Um, this is our arsenal. This is all good so far. Do these guys have weaknesses? Use these weak demons to farm resources. Yeah, fair enough. Imps. Use bullet weapons to stop the imp in its tracks. Soldiers. Point blank blast from the shotgun will stagger a blaster soldier. They're weak to plasma rifles. Can overload energy shields. Uh, and also weak to blood punch. Which again, I don't know what that is. So I'm assuming we'll learn that at some point. The arachnotron, the weak point is the turret up here. It looks like it takes a couple of the, uh, the sticky grenades from our shotgun to take it out. I don't think it's one. I think it might be one or... It might be two. Uh, but it's hard to be accurate when it's super crazy right now. Uh, these guys want to shoot the, uh, sticky bomb inside their mouth. And also the ballista they're weak to, which we don't have yet. And then the tentacles, just remember. Oh, it's one sticky bomb. Okay, cool. And is that across all difficulties? Do you guys know? If you whip it, whiff and hit them normally, it's multiple. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, okay, cool. Chain shotgun, we don't have yet. We, but I, I have seen the chain shotgun in action. I'm excited. Just remember, guys. This is really important. I don't want you guys to forget this. Okay? Because I know you're all excited. But it's very important to remember that not every tentacle hole has one inside. Not every, not every tentacle hole has one inside. Okay? So as long as you understand that, we're good. Okay, custom... Hold on a second. Customize weapon? Oh, the, uh, the skins. 
Right, so we put this on at the beginning. Let's let's clear it off for now. And we'll uh we'll see when we unlock these. Also, I don't I'm not sure. See, when we're in this weapon wheel, we can move a bit. I'm not sure if we're slowed down, but I might have to experiment with that because we might be able to use that to um, just kind of take a breath in battle, but I don't know how reliable that'll be. Arc broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what Arc personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. <laughs> the mortally challenged. The Doom Slayer, or Doom Guy, as he's sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continued to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. Hey, Opossum, welcome. Welcome. Oh, yeah, sorry. I guess the cams might block some of this text, but I'll make sure I read it for you. I tried to keep it as out of the way as possible, but... Let me know if it ends up blocking something that you guys feel is, like, super crucial, and, um... We can do that. What is this ARC update available? This is an ARC broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself. The thing that we just read. The mortally challenged. The Doom Slayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance. Yeah, we just read this. A sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast <laughs> new information as we receive it. So that's really cool. Um, I wish that in the Codex, it would be really nice if, if it was something that they've recorded. Uh, where was it? Let, let, I don't know. Let's say it was this, right? It'd be nice if you could play it from here. Um, but we'll keep an eye out for these. All right, I'm going into the portal now. Exaltia. To put an end to the demonic consumption of Earth, the Hell Priests must be eliminated. Following the death of Deeg Nylox, the remaining two Hell Priests have gone missing. You must return to Exaltia, Forsaken City of Sentinel Past, to acquire the device necessary to locate the remaining priests and save Earth. <laughs> Just wait and I'll invite you for an interview. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice one. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Yeah, see this fast travel stuff, if we're going back to previous areas, that could be super helpful. All right, let's roll. Keep moving. <laughs> What the hell? Locate King Novik's chamber, retrieve the celestial casing. It says something about corruption level in the top there. Oh yeah, look at that. Straight up. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Sorry, I shot I shot the dog. <laughs> Should have done that probably. Hey Tobiko, what's up?
Look at that, man. Demonic corruption. So we haven't learned about this yet, but I'm sure we will. Exaltia. Let's learn about it. First of all, it's gorgeous. In like a demonic death wants to destroy you type of way. You know? Demonic corruption is basically the combat meter. Oh, okay. I'm sure it'll introduce us. Uh, translation from the Ligra Saltagenta, Book of Kings. Uh, you know what we could maybe do? Just while we... While we read these, I'll try to remember to turn those off. Uh, what treachery comes from our darkest selves, driven by greed and want, for I have been deceived by the Deeg. They came north with I, the priests as allies to our cause, against the Khan Maker and her unscrupulous methods. Their silvery tongues wagging. They laid a plan for us and sowed the seed of desire for hasty triumph. They claim knowledge of the Maker's source of power in the demon realm, a vast foundry of souls where the innocent are put to the fire for the essence. In the foundry's destruction, our victory is assured, they told us. And the fools that we were, that I am, believed their lies. On their word, we sent the Doom Slayer and the Night Sentinels to destroy the foundry, and the priests cast a gate for their egress. As the last veteran entered the demon's empire, our final hope of reclaiming our dominion, the D closed the path and left them stranded. They were trapped, lost in the eternal void by the action of the traitors. How can I not see their intention? Am I blinded by grief for the loss of Terrace Nabad, of my people? We fled again, with barely a legion of the Night Sentinels left to protect us. The Deeg are gone, returned from, to their mistress. May the wraiths forgive my failure. Damn. Well, let's proceed. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's new. Oh, this could be it. Okay, hold up. We gotta I'm gonna adjust a couple things here. Let's do something like this. I'm gonna turn up the game sound. I really want that music hitting. Oh, sh Here it comes. Oh, the T's. Oh, no. Oh, what? We were saved. Hey, Lambo Chen. Oh. You know what? It's totally worth totally worth the death. Totally worth the death. Oh, I like this. Wow. Okay, we found our first banger track. That's the banger track. <laughs> banger alert. <laughs> yes, Sarah Bobble. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. The chain gun can quickly falter this demon. Okay, that's cool. Good to know.
Surprise. Are you guys okay with the volume changes that I made there? Let me know if it's too bananas. What's with these? Is he like guiding us or is he warning them? Hey, Jamiel. Uh, about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. <laughs> what? Thanos. Oh, there's a... Okay, blood punch. Blood punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fills the blood punch meter. Once charged, press F or mouse four to unleash it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I see it in the bottom left there. Oh, snap. Okay, so likely that's going to be something... <laughs> that's going to be something that triggers almost accidentally. Okay, how does one get back there? no way I can make that. We'll have to find a way up from underneath. So instead of fireballs now... Got to find a, a way up here. See ya. Runes. Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots, so choose the runes that fit your playstyle. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. You become one punch man. <laughs> Hey robot, just got here. Have some music. We ju I just found our first, our first real good one that we like. It's all been good so far, but okay. Let's review these and then uh, let me know what you guys think. So savagery performs glory kills faster. Seek and destroy launch a glory kill from further away. I like that. I like that a lot. Blood fueled gain a speed boost after performing a glory kill. Okay. Greatly increase movement control while in the air. Increase how long enemies remain staggered. Days to confuse. That could actually be nice too. Saving throw. Survive one death blow and briefly slow down time, giving you the chance to recover. This rune recharges on death. Oh, interesting. Chrono strike. Hold mouse two in midair to temporarily slow time. Once the rune is fully drained, you'll need to wait for it to recharge. That's also really cool. Uh, equipment Fiend. Enemies killed by equipment or while under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. And enemies killed by a blood punch shockwave drop health. Okay. So, my initial reaction is uh, seek and destroy first. So I can... When we stagger something and we can kill it immediately, we're invulnerable for all that time, right? Which is super, super helpful. Um... Keeping people staggered longer could be beneficial, I think. The saving throw might be nice. Uh, to give us like a... I don't know, is this like a get out of jail free? Depends how it feels, I guess. Uh, the slowing down time in the air is nice. What do you guys think? I see a lot of people saying seek and destroy. I like that too. Because that's the thing is like... You, you're totally safe when you're doing glory kills. So... Being able to do this from further away seems nice. Blood Fueled could let you find new areas. How's that? With a speed boost? Maybe you're maybe you're right. 
All right, I'm going to take the glory kill from a distance for now. So you can destroy. This is the rune tab of the dossier. Here you can find and equip purchased runes by placing them in the available slots. All right. Excellent. Finding more runes will unlock more rune slots. Swap runes to fit your playstyle. Thanks. Now, we need to find a way up here somehow to try and get that extra life. I don't know if any of these wall. Oh, here. There we go. There we go. Seek and destroy could also offset the time it takes to perform one. Yeah, true. True. Poor guy, you know. Ooh, what's this? Power up? Oh, look! My favorite enemy. In toy form. What's shooting me here? This is total total battlegrounds happening, right? Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh boy. I need an enemy. Oh my god. There's my extra life already. Oh, cheap. <laughs> uh, he he like came out of that stun right as we went in for the kill. Damn. Right as we went in. Okay, so I think... If I can, maybe I'll try to grab that power-up on the way down. Where did we see that? There it is. Oh, maybe it's not even a power-up. What did that do for me? Did it max our health? Okay. So you see all of these? I imagine when we're fighting, this could be pretty hectic, but... Oh yeah, interesting. So that could loop us all the way back up, probably. All right. Oh, that power-up gave us HP and armor. Very nice. Okay. It was too hectic for me to catch it all. Thanks, Ben. Oh, I walked right into it. Oh, I'm locked in. See ya. Blood punch. Whoa. That's insane. I love this song. No!
I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Arachnotron. Get in there. Man. It is for the guide. It is. All of this is so that you guys can benefit. <sighs> wow. This is like no joke. Nice. I need to chain. Oh, bro. I'm stuck. <laughs> Flame belch. Flame belch. Gotta use it. Holy crap. Is the death count broken? Let's see. No, we're good. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. It should be at zero. All right, I'm going in with chains. Hey, Brook. Whoa. This is going to be, this is going to be really tough. This is going to be really tough. Oh, damn. Yikes, we're probably dead. Oh. 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 Okay, this is the one. Oh, I see. I don't... Okay, I don't have any of the other ammo right now.
Oh, right over him. See, that actually slows really heavily. Wow. I'm like physically uncomfortable. There it is. Okay, so I think the idea... Weapon points. Complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend weapon points in the arsenal tab to upgrade your weapon mods. Gotcha. This is the arsenal tab. You can upgrade your weapon mods, customize your weapon wheel, and apply custom skins to your weapons. To upgrade a weapon mod, navigate to a weapon that has a mod unlocked and select it to see the available upgrades. Okay. All right. So we've got six. Sticky bomb reload speed by 20%. Bigger booms would be bad. And then we have to launch five sticky bombs before having to reload the mod. Uh, that seems easy. I can't go back. Oh, here I can. So we have quick recovery, faster transform, fast feet. And then killing a demon with the auto mod mo with the full auto mod will drop shell ammo. Okay. Up here we've got micro missiles. Uh, micro missile reload time is decreased. Micro missile load time is decreased. Fire micro missiles indefinitely without requiring a reload. What do you guys think? Bigger booms? I like bigger booms. Sticky bombs, bigger booms. Let's do it. Purchase all upgrades to unlock access to the weapon mastery challenge. So we have to get both of these and then we can do this. Gameplay challenge can be completed to unlock the weapon's full power. Learn more about the weapon mastery at the arsenal tab of the dossier. All right, sick. Cool. So there's stuff like this, right? Where like in the middle of battle, we could be using this to get away from things, but it's just, it's so hectic. Like it's so hectic. Oh no, what does this mean? What is that about? Why is it sending out like this ping? Does anybody know? Oh, Dexter's gone. Oh, he probably went upstairs. come back here later in the mission. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. So we have a codex back here. We're gonna have to wrap around to get it, looks like. You can use your chainsaw before you run out of ammo. <laughs> yes, thanks. Great advice. Yeah, that blood punch is nice, man. This is us just jumping into who knows what. 
Wow. The wolf. Oh, here we go. Argenta legends speak of sentinel beasts, loyal creatures that lived as companions of the hardened warriors, often larger, swifter, and stronger than others of their kind. These animals shared instincts with their masters and aided them in battle. The night sentinels never shared publicly the origin of these creatures, for only they stood worthy of them. Wow. Just came out of the shower. What did you miss? <laughs> nothing. You've everything. Nothing. Everything has been going perfectly well. What is that now? Sentinel battery. Like we one hundred percent want to have that. Uh, but it's blocked. So what's our way of getting there? I wonder. See it there. I wonder. Ooh. It looked like there might have been an opening right to the right there. Let's see if we have something easier. This is back in the normal area. There's obviously stuff out this way as well. Is that reachable for me? It doesn't look very reachable, does it? Nope. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count as a ding? Chat, we need to decide. I don't think it took us to zero. I'm guessing we'll come back to it. Oh, see? Tricky. Tricky, tricky. So, from over there, that's maybe how we end up at that place. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. We must wrap around at some point. What are we naming our pup, guys? Hey, Squeesh. Thanks, man. Thanks for the seven months. We can name it Dex. I just want to see if there's anything in here. There is. Oh, hot damn. Okay. Oh. Hello? Slayer Jr. <laughs> How about just Doom Dog? If we're Doom Guy, you can be Doom Dog or Doom Doggo. Doom Doggo, Kaz. Yeah, see? I think that works. History of Sentinels, part one. Translation from the Ligra Saltagenta. In the days before the first, before man first spoke, an immense shard of rock and metal was cast into the world from the heavens. Thunder and cataclysm shook the land as the skies were torn asunder. The cosmic spear cleft a hole through the mortal land, pole to pole, from the cold wastes of the umbral plains to the fetid swamps of Iron Fang. The womb of the world opened and the eternal, or so the elemental race, the firstborn, spilled forth. They took to the skies, fierce in their emancipation. In their exaltation, they brought vitality to the land, and all that felt their breath were awakened from eternal slumber. Fierce beasts and unforgiving biosphere rose in the passing of their shadow as the wraith call echoed across the Argent Denur. Oh, I like Doom Pup. Doom Pup is good. Doom Pup actually rolls off the tongue. A lot easier. 
First came the ancestrals, feral creatures invigorated by the winds of the race. They grew to enormous heights. Mighty behemoths who waged war with each other for years untold. Their battles tore the land asunder and destroyed all creation caught in their wake. The wraith call continued to spread across the land, and soon the Argenta emerged from the steppes, our souls stirred into form by the power of their breath. The titans towered over the wild-blooded tribes, but found them uncowed. Uncowed? Uncowed? The secret of the sword was discovered, and in the darkness of sweltering mountain forges, we beat steel until it was strong enough to pierce bone and sever flesh. Thus we came to be, born of rock and fire, lowly in birth, but risen by the strength of our will. By the blessedness of the first ones, we forged sword and shield and took the hammer to the ancestrals. We claimed dominion of creation by right of blood and magic, and the time of man came to be. With the ancestral beasts driven back to their bleak valleys, we rose. We tilled the fertile land, husbanded beast of burden, and built towering cities. In the hallowed palace on the obsidian throne, we crowned King Ormera the father the first of the line that shall reign in perpetuity. We built the Cathedral of Reflection to worship the first ones and form the Order of the Deeg, whose priests pay tribute to the wraiths and appease their tempestuous, great word, hunger. Our sons and daughters chose the path of the sword or the path of the alchemist, for each duty honors the gods. Though our ways were righteous, we were not without strife. Storms and great quakes cast our spires down. Barbaric tribes laid siege to our fields in search of the great gifts Mother Argenta had bestowed upon our world. And the song of the Wraith Call threatened to drive lesser men into madness. We were not lesser men. We defended that which the First Ones gifted to us, our lands and right to the bounty held within. We beat back the barbarian hordes and hardened our resolve. We rose above the fire, our bodies and souls tempered, and an unbreakable will was shaped in the forge of battle. What emerged with the heart of our legion, the Order of the Night Sentinels. That's cool. I want to find out more about this. That's awesome. 